I'm Perry M. Boring, the founder and president of the Chamber of Digital Commerce. We are the world's largest trade association representing the blockchain technology industry, and we're focused on the public policy issues facing this ecosystem. Joining Hyperledger as an associate member was not something we had to think about. The Linux Foundation has such a long history and a built reputation that it was very obvious that this is the kind of initiative that we should be a part of and we should also support. The Chamber the Chamber was founded just over three years ago, and when we first opened up operations in Washington, D.C., the sentiment in the public policy dialogue was very different than what it is today. So when we opened our doors, it was an environment of fear, anxiety, and skepticism. We had a senator who called for a ban on Bitcoin. There were multiple agencies that started issuing regulations in this space. There were also a number of warnings that were issued by government bodies about how dangerous this technology is. And in just three years, we've been able to turn that dialogue around. And uh, some of the key, uh, uh, some of the key moments were. Uh, one would be meeting with the Federal Reserve and having the chair of, of the Federal Reserve go on record publicly saying that blockchain is an important technology. We also participated in the first ever fintech uh, summit at the White House and we were the only blockchain related company that was invited to that. So we went from uh, warnings and fear and anxiety and let's ban this to uh, so many doors being opened throughout the policy circles. Regulators are very interested in this, but it does require a degree of education and it also requires a willingness to engage. And if the industry can proactively reach out to the policy community, it really can make a big difference for the business environment. One of my favorite blockchain related use cases would be in healthcare. So I was in the White House the day the Affordable Care Act was signed into law and I did quite a bit of work in healthcare policy when I worked in government before I founded the chamber. And electronic health records was mandated in that law. And my mother is also a cancer survivor, so have seen firsthand how complicated it can be to manage your patient profile when you have so many different doctors and specialists over time, as we all do throughout our life. And blockchain has a lot of promises in terms of electronic health records. The Hyperledger community has certainly uh, contributed much to that dialogue and it's something I'm very much looking forward to seeing going into implementation.